All right, we're going to be talking about waves today, and we're also going to be talking about how to use the wave equations. Before we get to that point, though, we need to understand some very basic things about waves. And I'm going to go over in this video some of the important things that you really have to understand. The first thing that you have to understand about waves is that waves do one thing and one thing only. Waves carry energy. You know, a lot of people think that waves carry stuff or matter, and they don't. As a matter of fact, even water waves in the ocean don't carry water from one point to another. What those water waves are doing are transferring the energy from one point to another. So the water, see that water molecule right there? That water molecule isn't going to move because of the wave, it's not going to move over here. What's going to happen is, even though the water molecule isn't moving across this distance, the energy is being transferred from one point to another. If you actually could look at that water molecule, the water molecule actually travels in a slightly circular type of path. The water molecule actually does that as the wave crest, as the water wave passes. And you know this because if you've ever been to the beach and gone just far enough off the beach where you are standing in in water that is up to your maybe your shoulders, as that wave passes, you you can feel yourself being lifted off the off your feet lifted off the bottom and you actually move in a circular pattern as the water wave passes. So waves carry energy. They don't carry matter. Now we're going to take a few minutes. We're going to talk about two very basic kinds of waves. Two very basic kinds of waves. And those waves are mechanical waves. and electromagnetic energy waves. Electromagnetic waves. And the difference between the two, mechanical waves need something to travel through, such as air, a sound wave is a mechanical wave. And the diagram here, you can see I've drawn this speaker right here and that speaker is vibrating back and forth and it's producing a is producing sound waves that travel outward away from the speaker and those sound waves are traveling through air and so in this case the air that those waves are traveling through is said to be what's called the medium the medium is what carries the energy, the wave, in this case, the sound wave. It's called the medium. In this case, like I said, the medium is the air. In water waves, the medium would be the water. That's what's carrying the energy from one point to another. So if you're talking about a water wave, like in the ocean, the energy that moves by the wave action is carried by the water, and that makes that water wave out in the ocean a mechanical wave. So there are mechanical waves, waves that need something to travel through. And then there's this really cool kind of wave called an electromagnetic wave. And electromagnetic waves are like light waves and radio waves and microwaves. And those types of waves, light waves, radio waves, microwaves, anything that you see on the electromagnetic spectrum. Well, first of all, they don't need anything to travel through. As a matter of fact, they travel best when there is nothing there. They travel best in a vacuum. And I don't mean a vacuum cleaner. I mean the vacuum like in outer space where there's nothing there. There's just an empty void. 
they travel best if there's nothing to impede or hold back their motion. So unlike mechanical waves, electromagnetic energy waves travel best when there's nothing there in the vacuum of outer space, for instance. That doesn't mean they can't travel through air, but they don't need the air to travel through. The other thing that I should say here is that electromagnetic energy waves in a vacuum all basically travel at the same speed or velocity. They travel at the speed of light, which is 2.99 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And that is fast. 